<clears throat> Hello and welcome to this screencast on designing uh, logos with Inkscape. Um, today I'm going to create a YouTube logo uh, for my YouTube uh, live hangouts. Um, it's like a post recording link. And uh, I'm going to start by um, I've run, I've already got Inkscape running. I'm going to start by importing some uh, some existing SVG files I found on the internet on uh, Wiki Wikimedia actually. Uh, I found uh, these files here, so I'm going to pull in the uh, YouTube logo. Open. So this is an SVG file, so um, I don't need to. Uh, so I can expand it without losing any kind of quality of the image very nicely so it'll give us a lot of scope to play with and then there was a logo from uh, YouTube live as well so I'll import that I'm going to try and make these together so well, they're kind of roughly the same size I wonder if I could maybe do that something like that so this is going to be a bit, bit of an experiment I cannot know exactly what I want to do um, but yeah um I wonder if this will split apart. So sometimes things are grouped together. Yeah, there's an ungroup there, so maybe if I ungroup them, excellent. There we go. So we've got the difference between uh this normal play video and then the live broadcast. Um uh, so I could do I could do both. Um but I'm gonna do YouTube live. I don't need that for now. Um so you have the live one here. Uh, I'm pressing control when I'm resizing things because that way it keeps the um, the aspect ratio intact. Um, it's got uh, a some kind of grid on there, so that's why it's jumping around a little bit. Although the grid's a bit too small, so maybe if I make the uh, if I make this bigger just by pressing plus. And uh, there we go. So maybe it won't jump around so much now because the grid might be a bit more relevant. Oh, there we go. Uh, it's still trying to connect it. There we go. I'll just use the keys. I can just use the arrow keys to move <coughs> something around. Uh, that looks about the right size. Now, are these are these two things in line with each other? Oh, it kind of looks like they are. It looks can be deceiving, so I'm going to shift. I'm going to select both of them. So I, I select one just by clicking on it. Press Shift, and I'm selecting both of them. Uh, and then there's the uh, um, object. There's this align and distribute option. Shift Control A. Um, so it appears in this menu system down the uh, right hand side, and so it gives me plenty of options to kind of. Uh, align things together. So I can align them with a page, but that doesn't make sense in this context. So I want to align them with each other. So let's align it with the first selected. So that would, would have been YouTube itself. Then I want them to be kind of equal in the middle, centered on the uh, horizontal axis. So click that. Yeah, and they're pretty much there already. So in this case, it was there. Um, I could send them by. Uh, the, the the line bottom edges, but I think in the middle is is what we actually want. Um, then, um, yep. One idea I had was to actually also add some text. Um, uh, so add the recording. So to kind of highlight, it was it's a recording uh, of that thing, not the actual live broadcast itself. Um, so when I've created that, it's using this YouTube, uh, the Ubuntu font. Uh, it's using medium, um, medium italic. There we go. Recording. Add a bit of dynamicity. I can set the size of this. So maybe uh, 32 is better. Oh no, that's too big. Oh no, because I typed that too much. So let's try that again. 32. Boom. But you can see it does scale really well without. Uh, Breaking thing, so okay, that's that's pretty cool. Oops, what's going on here? Wait, there we go. Uh, and then maybe align that. Um, and then maybe put that into uh, Yeah, I like that. 
that's a bit more specific recorded broadcast. I'm going to put it from there to there. That works quite nicely. Um, as well as specific, specifically setting the size. See, the size has already kind of changed a little bit there. If I do control and drag, uh, I can kind of get it more or less. There you go. Yeah, I get it. Uh, ooh, what happened there? It's pretty much lined up. Um, I might want to change the colour of that. So I've selected that and then I've got a colour palette down the bottom here. Um, and I could, if I press shift, it's just going to create the uh, the, um, the outer border of this. Uh, this, this is called the, the stroke, uh, which has this uh, quite a small um, size. I can make that bigger. Uh, that's millimeters. I don't really want it millimeters. I, oh, see, it's gone too big there. Let's do it in pixels. It's a bit easier to uh, see. Uh, so if we do two pixels, um, yeah, that adds a color to it. Um, I'm not sure if I like that or not. Let's let's try filling it with the same color. That looks better. Um, yeah. That looks fairly professional, I think. And that would make a nice link uh, in my page. Um, I think, uh, yes. So I, I can save this as a file. This is going to save it as an SVG file. Um, and I'm just going to call this uh, YouTube uh, Live Call Dead. Broadcast. Um, click on enter. Um, but when I actually want to use it, I'm probably going to use a portable network graphics image. Uh, so I'll need to export uh, this as a PNG image. And that gives me options to put it into web pages that don't support uh, scalar vector graphics images directly um, and, uh, and also set a size. Uh, so I need to define what the name of the file is I'm going to create. So I'm going to projects practically. So go into where I want to keep the file. YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to call it the same name. I'm just going to give it like the PNG uh, name extension, file extension. So it's the right format. And um, I can select page we should do the whole thing. Um, however, that's far too big. That would include a lot of white space. So, um, and um, I don't actually need this part of it. I can just delete that. Just press delete. Um, I can, re before I export, I can resize the document, resize the page, essentially. So at the moment, it's, uh, it's an A4 page. Um, and I I could try and figure out how big everything is, but it's got a resize page to content, which is quite nice. If I do that, it's it's right around the edge. There's no margin, but uh, it might be quite nice to have a little margin on there. So maybe something like four, uh, four, four. So I'm just doing four and pressing tab, uh, and then that puts a, a kind of nice little margin around there. Um, I could leave it white, uh, and so it's got a white background. Um, but uh, I also would want to make it. Uh, I could make it uh, see-through as well. Uh, yeah. So so if set, use checkerboard for background. Otherwise, background color full opacity. Yeah. So we can set it to be. Um, opaque so it's only just the, the logo itself um, although actually the background color probably for this I'd want to have it white anyway um, so this is a white color uh, and it's it's not transparent anymore so I could set it white but be transparent but that doesn't make much sense so I'll make it uh, fully opaque um, so put the full alpha channel on there as well, so that's going to be a nice white background, and you can 
well you can't really see it but it's it is white it's a white on a white background so it's it's hard to tell it's there but it's definitely a white background now and I can close that so now when I export it'll be a I can just export by page and this is the entire page and it'll put a nice little white border around it as well um, the the black uh, line is just a guide to show me the size of it obviously a white background on a white uh, drawing background wouldn't be very helpful to see how size the actual thing is so um, if I do export um, that should have created the image uh, let's have a look um, so if we go into projects uh, to guy come on doesn't like that what's it doing Art uh, and then the PNG. So that's our that's our new image, all nicely done. Um, and if I want to change anything, then I can just go back to here and change all, all the things I need to do. Um, and I'll just finally finish and save the SVG layer, SVG image if I wanted to. Uh, I can add layers if I want to do anything fancy. I can add layers as well to help me build things as well. But I think for now that will do for what I want. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this useful.